Hey, Scotty Beckett here. I wanted to do a walkthrough of how to set up a Gmail account. Gmail accounts are provided through Google. They're free. Uh, they have no charge at this point, but uh, you never know what the future holds. So you can grab a free Gmail account that's an email account that is directly tied into Google, which is what you want to do. You want to stay as close to Google as you can. Anything that goes through Google is going to make you more powerful because they pretty much dominate the internet. It's real easy to do and uh, we'll take you through it. If you miss any of this, you can rewind or watch this again. Uh, have fun. Let's see how we can do this. First thing you do, you go to your internet browser, whichever one you're using. Uh, Google, of course, is my preference and we're going to type in Gmail. When you get to that screen, you're going to see Google Accounts. This is the best one to click on. It takes you straight to the sign up page. Here, you're just going to read what it says. It's all pretty simple. Go through, and let's say you're going to put in your name. Your last name. And when they're asking for your desired login name, that's what you'd like your email address to be. And it needs to be something simple for you your, as part of your name or something that you're going to want to use in, in marketing. So let's go ahead and, and try one here that uh, we hope goes through. We're going to check and see how strong the, the availability is for this. And it says right here that that is available. So we're going to be able to use this. We're going to go down now and create a password. Passwords will show you as you're typing it in, it'll show you your password strength. And when it goes into this, the strong green line, you've got something that it'll accept. So we'll go ahead and try. And when I hit that nine, there it goes over to a strong signal. So you see that you're not going to be able to use it. If you go through and, and skip this and put too short of uh, a password, you'll get to the end and they'll have to come back here anyway. So go ahead and make sure you've got that line. You've got to re-enter that same one again, exactly like you typed it in. Um, staying signed in, don't worry about it, leave it blank. Um, we're not worried about the enable web history, but we'll just leave that there. The security question, you have a drop down menu over here. You click on this box and you pick out something that's going to be easy for you to remember. But let me give you a little advice. If you'll make little notes on this stuff, because if you ever get asked these questions again and forget what you put in, you won't be able to access this. Uh, you can't get back to this email account that you've set up. So uh, we'll try teacher's name and they're going to ask you for the answer guess what you see what I did let's try that again So we are back here to where we put in the answer to the my first teacher's name. And secondary email, you can go ahead and leave this blank uh, if you do wish to fill that in so they can contact you if there's a problem. But I'm going to leave this one blank and, and wing it. Locations, of course, if you're in the United States or whatever country, you have a drop down menu here to be able to pull that and enter that correct country. Now you get to what they call a CAPTCHA, and this is so that a computer can't go in and make hundreds of these email accounts. Uh, right now, there, the technology must not be so that the CAPTCHA can be read. So you're, at, you're supposed to be able to read it, and some of these get real hard to read and, and actually impossible. So if you get one, 
go ahead and, and make a stab at it. If you miss it, it'll have, give you another one that'll be a little bit easier to, to try to read. So let's try this one out. Should be R E A T A C. R E A T A C. Terms of service, uh, you've got to agree with what they're their rules are. If not, you can't have the account, so you can look through this and see if you agree with everything. And if everything looks good to you, go ahead and let's see if this will take it. It said, I have introduction to Gmail, so that uh, that account is now active. Congratulations, you have successfully signed up. What I do then is I go over and I want to I want to see that my accounts actually there so I go ahead and click on here and it'll load up my account and what it shows you is you have they give you some emails here that tell you how to get started off after you read them pretty much go ahead and go in here and click out and delete these it shows some activity and you now need to make sure that you have written down what your email address is and the other information that you should keep in case you ever are asked for it so you can if you don't give them the correct information uh, that email address account will be lost I hope this helps you out I have some more um, informational videos coming out in the future uh, hope to see you again